Being able to solve questions like this is the most important skill in this unit. They'll give you the number of workers and they'll give you the total product or the output. Now your job is to do some calculations to figure out how many workers should you actually hire. The first thing you have to calculate is marginal product. Marginal product is the additional output produced from each additional input. So the very first worker adds an additional 10, next worker adds an additional 15, next worker adds an additional 5, additional 2, and additional negative 2. Now I'm not going to hire 5 workers no matter what because I have negative marginal returns. So that one's automatically out, not going to hire that many workers. This gives me the output generated from the workers. What I need to know now is how much money do they generate? How much revenue does each worker generate? Then I can figure out if they're worth hiring or not. That's something called the marginal revenue product. Marginal revenue product is the additional revenue generated from each additional worker. It's the marginal product, the stuff, times the price you can sell that stuff. So this worker adds an additional 20, next one additional 30, additional 10, additional 4. Now the MRP represents the demand or how much this firm is willing to pay those workers. This firm is willing to pay the second worker up to $30. If the wage is $31, they won't hire them because they only generate an additional $30 of revenue. Now this question gave us the wage, which is 5, which represents the marginal resource cost, the additional cost of hiring another resource. Now if the additional revenue generated from that resource is 20, but the additional cost is 5, would you hire that worker? Yes. You'd hire the second worker and the third worker, but you wouldn't hire the fourth worker. The fourth worker adds an additional $4 of revenue, but it costs you another $5 to hire him, so you will not hire the fourth. You will hire three. Bonus round! Let's figure out how to calculate profit from hiring three workers. Now, profit is the total revenue minus total cost, and I'm giving you in this situation a fixed cost of 50. Total revenue is the price of the product times the quantity of those products you're actually selling. The price of the product we know is $2 times the quantity, which for hiring three workers is 30. So the total revenue grand total is $60 coming in. Total cost is made up of fixed cost and variable cost. The fixed cost I told you is 50, so we've got to subtract that out. But we also have to calculate the variable cost. In this case, the variable cost is all labor costs. So I hired three workers times the fact I paid each one $5 represents the labor cost of hiring workers. So let's put it all together, $60 of revenue coming in, minus the $15 of variable cost, and also subtract the $50 of fixed cost, gives us a grand total of negative $5. So this firm is making a loss.